My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families, those you raise and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here, eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead, eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed, eight days wishing it would stop. Baker! You okay, Baker? Get away from me! You want me? Fucking take me! I never asked to be squad leader, but I had no choice. Now I've got 13 soldiers under my command. 13 men depending on me to make the right decisions and not get them killed. 13 families relying on me to bring their husbands and sons home. 13. 13 is not a lucky number.
Anybody know where we are? No idea. I'll find out. Stay put. Hello, just we American. Americans, what town is this? Any of y'all know French? I can't understand a goddamn word she's jabbering. I speak a bit, sir. Then get your ass over here, son. Pouvez-vous nous dire où nous sommes? Uh, she says we're just northeast of St. Mary Glees. Damn it! Well, we're heading the wrong direction. I'm gonna see if I can gather some more guys. Y'all head that way, through the gate, and link up with anyone else you find as you head east. Stay alive! That's an order! You really start to notice the quirks a person has when you think he might be dead in a week. I remember the first time I saw Leggett. He was in the breakfast tent. He was cutting a hard-boiled egg into small pieces with a knife. Like ham. It occurred to me at this point I'd never in my twenty-three years of existence seen a man cut an egg into slices like that. I don't know why I remember that. There's an AA gun over there. We have to take it out. Are you gonna pay for that? You just broke her damn gate. Like it? Shove a sock in it. You can't stop the rest now. The 4ID is coming up through Utah Beach. And there are Germans all over that area. Let's move! In the plane, just before we jumped, I finally came to the conclusion that I had to swallow my fears, take charge and lead these men. It seems fate has a dark sense of humor. I'm a man with hell standing between me and my men. No matter. Not even hell will stop me. I got word from another platoon that some of our boys dropped in this area. Crowds were nice enough to flood it for us as a welcoming gift. Sure as shit isn't going to be easy finding them out here. Unless, of course, they... find us. Is that red? This crowd's all over. I think I saw a mortar team just back there. Jesus, it's great to see you guys. I spent this morning in a ditch full of water. But I got one. Picked him off as he sipped his morning joe. Did I mention it was great to see you guys? The landings are scheduled for 0630, so there's no time to lose. Baker, you take Hartsock and clear the main road. I'll try to gather up anyone I can find around here. I'll meet you on the beach and we'll try to link up with 4th Infantry. Good luck, guys. I understand the large hearts of heroes. The courage of present times. It's from a poem my dad used to read me as a kid. It amazes me that something so beautiful can be part of something so ugly. I never asked to be squad leader. Kick off, Fox 3. Can you hear? Over. So we're supposed to kill them all before they finish breakfast. Say, what do you suppose crowds eat for breakfast anyway? Sausage? Toast? Oh, God damn it! Cold glass of blood? Sarge, I can't get anyone on this thing. We're fucked. All right, same plan as before. Hartsock, you're with Baker. The Crouch know we're here, so go say hello the airborne way. You mean shoot them? Yes. 
Obviously, Private Allen. It's just... I've never said hello like that. You could just say, shoot them. Well, smartass, you're with me. Baker, remember most of these guys don't know we're coming. So you and Hartsock tread lightly while you can. Move it! That was kind of crazy. I'm sure I'll never do anything like that again. I'm sure we'll do something that crazy a few more times before the sun goes down. So who's hungry? The keys are still in it! I say this Opal Blitz just became official U.S. Army property. What do you think, Mac? I think I'm driving. Familiar faces. Makes a place like this almost feel like home. Almost. Sometimes I forget Alan and Garnett are two people. They showed up at Fort Bragg together and no one has seen them apart since. We just started saying Alan and Garnett like it was one word. Even with the damn mist drops, they still managed to stay together. What do you suppose killed him? Was an old age, I know that. They wouldn't just leave him here. Didn't we take this town? I think we have to assume for the time being that Fukuville isn't under our control. Red, you're ruining my good mood! So what's the plan, Baker? It's amazing what you talk about after the lead stops flying around you. Hartsock told us of one bar fight too many. His reward was a nasty scar on his cheek courtesy of a loudmouthed lumberjack and a broken beer bottle. Allen and Garnett said they both enlisted right after high school rather than wait to be drafted. When it was my turn to talk, I just froze. I realized that nothing in my life before had really meant anything. Until now. We have to link up with the other squads in Beerville. Any minute now, gliders are going to start landing in that field. If a glider hits even one of those poles, it's curtains for the boys inside. Clear out as many of those damn things as you can. You know, he has a nasty habit of making this shit sound easy. Okay, Baker. Lead the way. <laughs> Man, I thought I was a goner. Thanks for taking those things down. I figured I'd get skewered for sure. Hey, you with the 502nd, right? I'm supposed to resupply you guys. I got plenty of ammo inside. Take whatever you need. I couldn't sleep, so I made sure the guys pulling guard were awake. In the dark, you can't help but think about home. I was thinking about George. How he used to launch bottle rockets in a creek behind his house and blame it on the kids down the street. How he always seemed to go after the same girls in high school. How he could be dead right now, and I wouldn't even know it. Well, most of the time I was relaying messages to higher headquarters for Mac. I only saw Krauts there at the end. You guys look like you had a rough morning. Baker! We've got an M5 light tank moving here to provide support. Link up with them and clear the town. I don't know how many crowds are in the area, so take it easy. Good luck, boys! George and I sat on the back of his tank and talked for an hour about home over a K-ration. For once, it didn't taste like paste in a can. It's the weirdest feeling being at war with your best friend there. You feel almost invincible. Like nothing can stop you from driving all the way to Berlin and winning that ticket home. Alright, Baker, we can't sit here. Let's clear this road. You guys can use my tank as cover and keep the crowd infantry off me. I'm gonna have to shove through it.
Listen, I saw what happened. We've got to clear out of here. We'll have time to think about it later. DeSola and Corey are back in Beaumont with some guys from the 506. We have to get back and regroup. Sink wants to take St. Com at the crack of dawn. I rested my head on my helmet for an hour and pretended I was asleep. I spent most of the night trying to figure out what I'd say to George's mom when I saw her again. He died a hero. He died for the man next to him. But he's gone, and I'll never see him again. I'll never see George again. Day three. I remember in high school thinking that George was the only family I needed. When my parents split up, I was eight. My dad packed up his car and gave me some stupid speech about duty, honor, and country. That even though he didn't want to leave, he had to. I mean, I'm eight years old and my dad is driving away and out of my life. I'm just thinking, you're my dad. Why the hell aren't you here for me? <laughs> duty. I look at these guys and I see them as my family. My brothers. They were the only family I got left. All I'm saying is, logistically, Superman would break Batman in half. Are you calling the Batarang a sissy toy? Yeah, with a name like Batarang, why would anyone think Batman's a sissy? Well, Superman doesn't even have a cool identity. He just puts on glasses and acts like a jackass. And it's a wonder you don't like him, Leggett. I happen to like superheroes that have a brain. Leggett! He can melt things with his eyes! His eyes! Knock it off! There's enough bullshit to fill a swimming pool around here. Why would you fill- Don't! All right, boy wonder, we gotta get moving. Listen, Baker, I need this town cleared. The whole 101st is moving in tomorrow, and we want to make sure things are nice and cozy for them when they get here. All right, Baker, make it happen. Everybody get down! Baker, contact! Make it got word from upstairs that a tank is moving into this area. Their ammo resupply is right on the other side of this building. So find anything you can to make sure that tank doesn't get into town. There's a lot of movement still in the area. So we'll stay here and cover your ass. I'm you know, if I gave anyone else the order to attack a tank on foot, they'd probably just tell me to go to hell. You're one tough son of a bitch. And you didn't want to be squad leader. You really get to know a man if you have to watch him die. That moment right before he realizes it's over. That moment his face reflects every decision he's ever made. What kind of life he led. And if he regrets it. So, take the farm. That's it? Well, I'm sure the bloodthirsty Nazis will just walk out and hand it to us if we ask them nicely enough. <laughs> what if we say please? Do you guys ever stop? Only when you take breaths in between all your whining. You trying to say something, Alan? Shut up, both of you! The fight is with the crowds, not each other. Leggett, you're ranking private. So you take Alan and Garnett with you around the back. Why are we with the boy wonder? Don't even try to argue with me, son. I was kicking ass while you were playing dolls with your sister! Now get moving! Baker, I gotta get going. You take Hartsock, Masola, and Cory. Capture that farm and link up with Leggett on the other side.
How can a man stay focused on life when all he sees is death? I can't get it out of my head that sending Alan and Garnett with Leggett got them killed. If they'd just been with me... Fuck! If they'd just been with me! Maybe they'd still be alive! Maybe I could have saved them! Maybe. Maybe one of us should go talk to him. And say what? Thanks for getting our friends killed? Better luck next time? Fuck him. Red, leaving him alone isn't gonna help anything. Well, not seeing him is sure as hell gonna help me. Skinny prick better not cross my path. Would you listen to yourself, Sola? He fought too. He almost died with him. Did he? How do we know he wasn't off in a bush somewhere and left him to die? Sola, keep talking like that and we're gonna have a real problem here. You've never seen me have a real problem. Baker, there's no time for this. Focus is key. If you can't stay focused today, just tell me and I'll get another squad leader. All right, there's a bridge at the end of the train wrecks. Battalion thinks the Jerry's might use the bridge to cross tanks over the river. I want you to go there and drop it into the water. And don't worry about Leggett. I'll straighten him out. When you're under fire, there's really only one thing on your mind. Survive. I ran faster than I ever ran in my life, and I was carrying 30 pounds of gear. Somehow your brain starts to rationalize. Just get down this road, Matt Baker. Just get down this road and you'll be going home. It's only once you stop running that you start to wonder. Will any of us actually return home? Alive? Come on, Revis! Look at me, buddy! Look at me! That shot wasn't far off! We gotta move! He's not even dead yet! Hang on! Obi! Zanovich! Let's move! What are you doing?! I'm saving your ass! Fuck! Let's go! More targets! This is it! One squad! Well, shit! Today's as good a day to die as any! If we're gonna make it up this goddamn causeway alive, we're gonna have to lay suppressing fire on those krauts. The hell of a lot of Germans out there, from what I gather, they don't like us too much. Let's go! The Sola! Very little goes through your mind when you're knocked out by a bomb from a low-flying Stuka. You're not really awake or asleep, you're just sort of there. It's pleasant, really, while you're out. But somewhere in the back of your mind, you know when you come back, it won't be pleasant. God, I hate being right all the time. I thought you were dead. Matt, this all didn't make it. Holy shit! Bulletproof Matt Baker, back from the grave. All right, here's the deal. You knew it'd be rough when you joined the Airborne. Now you're gonna learn what rough really means. In a few moments, the Artie will smoke the other end of this causeway. The smoke will conceal us as we run across the field and take the farmhouse. If you see something move, shoot it. If it screams in German, shoot it again. Nobody moves till I give the command to charge. I hate this part. Hold! Stay with me! Let the smoke build! We 
wait for my order! Baker, you did a damn fine job today. That was one of the finest military executions I've ever seen. Let's get back to the farmhouse. All my men are accounted for. Baker's dozen is more of a half dozen, really. But we're okay. It's the first time I've sat down and talked to some of these guys since before we dropped. Hartsock is still telling stories about his bar fights. Obi is still talking about his dame back home. McCreary is still kind of an asshole. It's good to be together. I've been staring at it for days, and the crowds in that damn town on the horizon were staring right back at us. We all knew that no matter how bad the fighting was, when we got to Carantan, it would be worse. With only seven of us left, I'm trying not to ask myself how many more will die today. I guess no one ever said war would be easy. If they had, there would probably be a lot more wars. Baker, we gotta clear this city. I got another squad coming in south of you. They're hurt worse than you guys, so I'll be assaulting with them. How many crowds? Uh, whatever's left. We're not too sure. I trust you, Baker. Let's go, Leggett! His pep talks aren't as peppy as they used to be. Baker! Whatever it is you guys eat for breakfast, you gotta share it. Anyway... We'll have a CP set up here by the hour. I don't think the crowds can mount a counterattack anytime soon. We should head to the church in the middle of the city. We'll be able to see what they're up to from there. I suppose we're making progress. The feeling of victory is being ebbed away by the faces of Musa, Garnett, Alan DeSola, Rivas, and George. Is this it? Did we really take Carantan? Part of me just wishes the Germans would attack, just so I can get these thoughts out of my head. My dad used to tell me that it was the quiet times after combat that scared him the most. Now I understand what he meant. We don't know where it's going to come from, or if it's going to come at all. Which is why I say we break out the champagne. Where do you think we're going to get champagne, Obi? Leggett lobbed a grenade into the only place in town with liquor. We'll get him when this is over. Obi! Where the hell did that come from? Far away! He was hit before we heard the shot! Corian and McCreary are still in the street! Savage, let's go! The crowds are counterattacking! We've got to hold this position! Baker, pick off as many of them as you can! We got close! My dad said something to me after the divorce. He said every soldier has two families, those you raise, and those you raise hell with. I've spent eight days here, eight days commanding a squad I wasn't ready to lead, eight days watching my men, my family, kill and be killed, eight days wishing it would stop. Come on, Corian! We got the Krauts on the run. Max waiting on us. Let's go. In a minute. What the hell are you doing? Picking a spot. <laughs> For what? Okay, I'm ready. Are you feeling okay there, Corian? Never been better. All right, this is it. We're airborne because we're the best of the best. No one stands in our way. No one. Let's move. 
I think he stole your line there, Baker. Baker, listen! It's just starting to heat up over here! We've seen some forces moving into position on the ridge there! This is definitely where the party is gonna happen! Going to the rocks and the whole goddamn German army! There's rumors coming down the pipe that the squad's gonna be split up after we leave Carantan. Hell, Corian even thinks we're going home. Wrong again, Sam. A few other guys have been talking about getting a farm or some land, some peace and quiet. God, not me. Last thing I want to do is live out my days alone after the shit I've seen. Well, it's not time for goodbyes yet. Not by a long shot. Why the hell did you bring back that busted piece of crap? Not sure. Seemed like the right thing to do. What are you gonna do? Bury it? I might. Knock off the chatter and fall in! Now I'm not one for speeches, so I'll make this short. First, there's a Colonel Marshall here to interview some of you for General Eisenhower. Don't screw that up! Second, I've been in the Army a long time and in some pretty good units. But in all that time, well, I just want to say you guys did good. We lost some good men. But at the same time, we sent a message to Hitler and his boys that we're coming for it. That his days are numbered. Now I've got a promotion to make. Sergeant Hartsock, front and center. Second squad needs a new leader, and the responsibility is now yours. So on these stripes, or I'll cite you for being out of uniform. Sergeant Baker! You know this isn't over, right? Hell of a thing we've been through these last eight days. Welcome to the end of the beginning. Grab your gear, troopers! We've still got a war to fight! Third Squad, you heard the man. Move out! 